Welcome back to Cha Chainsaw Man. Yes, it's time to rev it up. Okay, this is episode in re anime review episode number four. This one discussing the fourth episode of the Emmy, Rescue, which discusses which basically adapts chapters nine to eleven. And oh boy, there is some changes. It actually makes a complete additional scene in here. Well, it's nine to eleven, and the first page of chapter twelve. Oh yeah, and it is definite that the Bat Devil arc is going to be concluded next episode. Obviously, this episode <clears throat> we start off with something interesting. Though we see, well, a little more of power before she arrived in the city itself, where she's eating a bunch of like creatures, like a bear, some cows with her cat. And after her cat's taken by the Bat Devil, we see her walk, trying to walk run to the city. By the way, Power is completely naked and she's dirty. And then afterwards, cut to the present day where she wakes up and she's with her cat, Meowie. And of course, Denji's there. The scene is plays out very similarly to how it plays out in the manga. Where he's like, why'd you save me? And he points to her front of her, points to her chest and is like, what a foolish reason. And then he's like, okay, I'm going to grab some, some, some breast. And then the leash devil shows up. Yes, seriously. Shows up and chops up part of his arm. And swallows it. And then, of course, he tries to pull his chainsaw, but he apparently lost some blood. He's got a little bit of chainsaw, so he fights it for quite a while. Yes, and at one point, it seems like like he gets stabbed by the leech devil. And then you have... Believe it or not, I, I don't remember the guy's name. Let's see if I can find his name here. Aki, yes, Aki, where he just does this. He's like, hmm, perfect. Box, please. And the, and this, and he calls for his 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 devil he made contract with, which is a giant fox head, and proceeds to eat the leech demon or well, the head of it. And he's like, this is a leech demon. Can I swallow? Sure. And proceeds to dissolve it away. And apparently, it also take remains of the bat devil too. Apparently, so. They have they have the rookie squad basically take away to be well taken care of and of course well power and Denji be debriefed while <clears throat> and 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 power is like what about Miyawi? He's like take it to the veterinarian. Okay, seems pretty simple enough. <clears throat> then we have Denji wake up in the hospital with his arm reattached. They do explain how the heck this this happened. Apparently they found his arm in the stomach of the least devil just reattached at the, at the blood transfusion like okay that seems a pretty reasonable explanation we've seen before in the pilot episode okay so they actually add a little bit more to the scene here and they change some dialogue like for instance basically they discuss uh, the fact that a Aki will agree to keep a secret in exchange for obeying his orders below he's like sure no problem we'll keep things as possible now, now in the case of what he's in the manga he said uh, learn to talk with some respect. In the anime, he says, learn some manners. And, and then we talk to Power, where she basically just... Uh, get this. Now, what happens after this, they keep very similar to have manga, but they make a lot of changes, and, well, a, there's actually a complete additional scene with him. So, <clears throat> after uh, Power gets freed, then apparently we see him wake up in his bed, probably the very next day. He wakes up, he basically just does like a routine of like wake up, make coffee, put water in his splash water in his face, wake himself up, go outside, and of course read a paper for a while. Then he wakes up, has his super toast, but apparently it's covered with a bunch of like jelly, whatever. And then we hear a bunch of knocking at the door, and then the door pops, and then the doorknob comes off. Now in the manga, this did not happen. Oh no! By the way, also the scene with Aki where he gets up, does his morning routine. That's complete anime original. That whole sequence, which is done beautifully in the anime, which only takes about about two three minutes, I think it is. It's completely original. And of course, Power Kami, the outfit she's wearing is comic accurate. The only thing is she's not breaking down the door like she does in the in the manga. But in the anime, well, in the manga, she didn't do that. She just walks in. The door now is perfectly fine. While in the anime, it's broken. And he ever chased her on a cat for a while. 
Then we have this weird bits where she basically says, "Can't do you know, She's too high up to basically take a bath." And you're like, "Oh yeah, I can't. Uh, I don't need a flush." And there's a bunch of toilet paper in there, which in the manga there wasn't. I thought the handy toilet paper in there made some sense. Yep. And then we have basically, well, oh yeah, by the way, the lunch is going to be curry. Which that particular moment, that was completely original. Then we have her eat the curry and she tosses away the food, the vegetable, because she doesn't like vegetables. And I thought that was kind of funny. And of course, Aki does call up. Oh, by the way. The, the scene where he debriefs Mokuma, that is also completely unoriginal because basically what happens in the manga is like he frees power, re- he releases power from handcuffs, and then she shows up at her his apartment. In the anime, they add basically a few minutes to this particular scene, which is so nice they added this. The whole debriefing thing is very it's very brief to the point, and another scene completely unoriginal. And then they have the anime kind of end with basically this. You have Denji basically cleaning the toilet because power won't flush. And the power puts on the toilet seat and tells Denji like, Oh yeah, so thank you for saving me and my cat. You get to grope my chest. <laughs> yep. And here's the thing. It looks like a breast of increased size, even though that's the actual size of the damn things. But yeah. That's pretty much the episode in a nutshell. It adapts it pretty faithfully. I love the, the new additions they made here. The changes were fine, but I think that adding about five minutes to this particular thing, like the, the briefing moments and basically the whole expanding the apartment stuff, which was smart on the form of the anime to do that. Because it's like, like, release, and then briefly see the experiment, then we see how it show up. And you, you read the manga, like, why in the world are you here? Like, what happened? Yeah, it's a bit strange, but I love Map Edition. It was fantastic. Love it. The only thing they probably didn't spend additional money to make complete original content here. I'm sure, but good job, part of Mappa. Yep. But yeah, that's pretty much it for of you. Uh, next up is going to be a comic corner, where basically we're the first of two in a row discussing final thoughts on a run. Though this one's also final thoughts of a series. Yep, thanks for you. Bye.